Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and I have exciting news for you. It is Boreas in top meta, in my opinion. It is uh, the new top uh, toxic unit right now. To my surprise, uh, it is almost equal, maybe even better than Minotaur, uh, just like I said in my tier list. But Boreas is back and is it is played in the top meta. As you can see, it's already 8,000 trophies with Boreas deck. It's mired from my clan, Blood Zephyr, of course. It is played with Necro. As you can see, he's not even having. He, he doesn't even have Necro 20. Uh, I can show you the equipment. I think equipment is the most important in the deck because the uh, Amulet of Weakness is very, very important to negate uh, the six styles inside. Uh, where Necro doesn't reach and uh, so the more Amulet of Weakness styles you have inside that uh, six styles uh, the better of course it is also quite important to play stuff as you can see he doesn't even have forest stuff uh, so it w doesn't work as well as it should be with the faction bonus of course and uh, mage robes as well uh, it is quite important in my opinion and just to negate the, the mana uh, for your opponent. Uh, as for the talents, uh, I'm not nowhere near close being expert in Boreas. Um, so yeah, uh, he plays right, uh, left, right. Right side talent uh, gives you the 35% chance uh, to uh, the transition to the second wind. Uh, second phase is uh, reactivated. Ah, okay, so whenever the second phase is finished, you have 35% chance to get it again. Uh, that's how I understand it. Uh, I think this one is the most important part. Uh, being played toxic, activation of the second phase with a 20% chance with will fire two arrows at enemy units, slowing their attack speed by 25% for even 10 seconds. Uh, so that's, in my opinion, a huge... Um, yeah, because this one is a DPS side, so it's it's obvious. And this one, of course, every third switching by Boreas to the second phase increases his damage by 100% until the end of the phase. So it doesn't really matter that much. And this uh, final talent is not changed. It's just basically a, a shield against negative effects. Uh, and 30% chance that moving into the second phase will speed up the monsters on the opponent's field by 30%. This one is also very important. Uh, so whenever we are uh, entering second phase of Boreas, all Boreas is uh, on the board, uh, we have 30% 30 30 chance to speed up the monsters by 30%. And with current faction bonus, of course, uh, for every uh, forest uh, unit in your deck, of course, it, it's, it's already ending, so that won't happen, happen again. But for the future, uh, with current faction bonus where... For each forest unit in your deck, uh, it speed ups the monsters on the enemy buff as well. Uh, as we can see, um, he played against uh, a lot of the opponents. Uh, the first game that I have, because I will try to show you two games, uh, maybe one game, two games. Uh, um, he's playing uh, against the top deck, in my opinion. It's uh, currently, I think, top two or top three deck, maybe. I think top two. Um, it's uh, uh, it's uh, the Fortuna uh, Trent, of course, and uh, not played with Witch because Witch got nerfed, uh, so it's played with Trapper and uh, Summoner instead. So, right, let's jump into the game and see how he won that. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market, you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions, you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Alright, and we are in the, in the game. As we can see, uh, already which tile is in the inside. Playing uh, inside the, the six tiles, uh, he has two amulet of weakness as well over there, and one of them is on the amulet of growth. Uh, the second one is uh, near the path 
also negating the amulet of growth and as we can see he is just trying to bully him with uh, boreas a summoner of course toxic summoner um and with frost and witch as well it's just all adds up and of course necro usage is huge um to my surprise he's playing uh enchanted summoning not multiple um don't know the reason why but yeah maybe it, it is not that important maybe he just doesn't want to get stuck he just prefers to build his board safely uh, but yeah well it works for him so i will not even question that uh, i will try to ask him for more details how it works why does it work and what's the most important part all right so the first wave is going uh, pretty safe for for the trend uh mayo uh, is just building his board currently uh and as we can see he's just trying to hit his main trends with uh, with which main trends which are those inside because those outside uh, doesn't really matter that much of course they deal damage occasionally uh, but it is not that important in my opinion all right so he hit the one tier two trend over there and as we can see yeah trend with his uh, cleanse talent uh, anytime uh, it gets hit by negative effect it has a chance to cleanse same goes uh, with demon hunter of course uh, but yeah right now he's not cleansing that that witch uh, he had the second one and instantly merging frost just to speed up the monsters all right as we can see he's holding like four five or even six seven uh boreases just to speed up the monsters and he got hit first time and second time <laughs> not even third wave and he won wow all right let's jump into the second game i guess all right and we are into the second game uh, this time it's against genie uh, fortuna which currently is in my opinion top deck uh, i know that in my tier list i put genie in in second tier uh it changed uh, yeah like i said it might change very very quickly uh, i'm wondering what's the strategy against genie in my opinion it would be spam summoner and frost and and witch of course um don't think yeah uh, this deck is played with lamp prison because it's a sultan one and uh, so she's not running cleanse let's see how many counter spells she has she has two counter spells which should help her in my opinion uh, but apparently in this game it didn't uh, so yeah let's see how it will go uh, he's already spamming her with witches of course um, and just trying to build up his board uh, is she playing mage rules? no okay she is not alright will he copy the witch? yeah so he's trying to hold as many tier 3 witches as possible due to the uh, polymorph talent on witch. Uh, anytime witch with 3 merge rank is on your board, after 25 seconds it's activating its merge rank, which is a cruel joke in level 9 talent of course. Um, is he playing? Yeah, he's still playing enchanted summoning to my surprise. I have to ask him what's the strategy. Is he really afraid of not be of, of getting stuck on on his board or? But yeah, we'll see. We'll see uh, how this game will go. It's already second wave. Um, she's struggling to build up her board. Um, yeah, it's it's quite hard. Okay, she's struggling. Yeah, but Ginny has that active ability. Of course, it's quite helpful with Fortuna. It's really hard to kill that deck uh, with toxic of course all right so he has what, two four six eight boreas is now nine um i'm guessing for speeding up the monsters on enemy's path and for the slow but slow doesn't really matter against genie because of the vortex um so yeah i, I would have to think why is why is it so strong against genie even I saw that he messaged that if he doesn't play against Genie, he basically wins every game. 
Um, yeah, but I'm I'm wondering like what's the what's the strategy here against Ginny? Like I'm I'm guessing she's just not gonna be able to uh, build up her board in time, and that will kill her. But yeah, uh, he's not even timing his necros. He's just pressing it uh, every time he has it active. Uh, all right, Bedlam. She killed Bedlam pretty easily with crit, of course. Uh, she's struggling to cleanse with her genies. Um, to my surprise, why is she not copying genies to make the the? I'm guessing she's trying to get Sultan in place. But that will, I think, that was the reason why she lost, in my opinion. But let's see. It's third wave. She's still not. She's. Yeah, now she plays the the Sultan one, but uh, I think it's already too late. Like she's she's just lacking damage in my opinion. Now the mini boss is going and she's dead. Yeah, I think that's that's what killed her in my opinion. Like the fact that she tried to make the perfect board against Toxic, which will die in few waves. Um, I, in my opinion, she would have survived if she just placed uh, that Sultan, wherever. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, so yeah, maybe I will show you the third game. Yeah, let's 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 show the third game and call it a day. All right, and we are in the third game right now. Uh, it is not Mayo this time. It is Gimme Fortuna also from my clan. Uh, I already checked that he's playing multiple summoning. I'm, I'm guessing it's just better. Uh, but yeah, I have to see. As Corina is playing, of course, Trenzius, it's very common, um, already known deck. She's playing uh, the Cleanse Talent, of course, multiple summoning, nothing surprising. Let's see how many counter spells she has, only one. Um, but she is playing Amulet of Swiftness, to my surprise, with Trent. And uh, Hunter's Jacket, alright. So yeah, let's see how it will go. It's uh... okay. I'm not gonna spoil you. Uh, spoiler you when she lost. Um... But yeah, let, let, let's just watch. Uh, for now, we can see that he's just trying to um... yeah drain his drain her mana pretty much. Spam with witches. Uh, that's pretty standard in my opinion. Uh, keeping the witches tier three. Uh, yeah, upgrading witches as well. It's um, it's just helping you. Um, anytime the unit is hit by witch, it just will uh, heal more if you upgrade your ability on witch. Um, so yeah, this time of course it's a necro twenty, so much much worse to play against, of course, because of the second wind ability. So yeah, let's see. Alright, wave 2. Um, Karina has two tier 2 trends. One is inside, one is not. And she just got hit twice. By which... Ah, both of them got cleansed. Uh, unlucky, pretty much. Uh, Alright, I thought that he's gonna get stuck uh, with that tier 4. Um, tier 4 frost but he got another one to merge it all right so three four boreas's rest is basically which is tier 3 tier 4 and rest are frosts so basically uh, as, as I see the pattern it's not you know, really about uh, the um, uh, some other stacks it's all about boreas and frost and keeping witches tier 3 whenever you merge something yeah he's getting unlucky with the frost bites on frost mm, let's see but i see his problem right now he he doesn't have any boreas on on the necro tile i think that's the difference be between mario's game and his game uh that mario got boreas on necro which is very important for the insta kill book because boreas just attacks very very fast all right wave three uh it's tier three and tier two the uh, trends inside let's see how it will go i'm, I'm guessing just witches will hit both of them Something like that will happen, in my opinion. 
Uh, not sure why she is merging trends. I would honestly keep as many as I can, like tier 2, tier 3. Uh, not rushing more just because I wouldn't want to get hit by witch and lose only because of that. Um, but we will see how it will go. Uh, yeah, as many frosts as possible in, in, on the board, uh, as you can see. And uh, yeah, first trend got hit by witch. Uh, got cleansed, alright. Um, but she again merged uh, trends. Tier t t 2 tier 3 trends. She merged that. I don't know why. But she did, alright, uh, and one of them is healing right now, which will resolve the Monkey King hitting her, in my opinion. She doesn't have Zeus. Okay, didn't hit. Alright. So, all uh, Gimme Fortuna has to do right now is to hit, which, uh, with which that one trend here for. And that's it, right? I, I don't think uh, she will be able to do anything Because right now she doesn't have any other trend and it, it is hit even twice Yeah, so that's GG uh, all, he, all he has to do is just to find Frost and SGG First hit, yeah And he got Frost, yeah, GG Yeah, very well played, very well played Method Methodicla the Koli, whatever the word is, uh, very by the book and uh, toxic gameplay. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like the idea, like the fact that Boreas is actually played at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, any Boreas lovers, any Bo Boreas mains uh, should be happy. <laughs> and yeah, uh, subscribe, like, comment down below, and see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.